this gadget you see behind me is scanning the grounds using radar. This property was one of interest in the Maura Murray disappearance case 14 years ago. And all these years later, her father is still looking for answers. And he tells us that he's thankful that there are still people willing to support him in his search. This is something that has never been done and it's in a place that absolutely has to be ruled out. The previous owner of this property was reluctant to let it be searched after Moore Murray disappeared in 2004, but Sunday the new owners led a survey crew on the grounds. The goal is to look for anomalies in the soil, basically disturbances. It's about time, but we never had the resources. Maura's father, Fred Murray, has been searching for 14 years. Each year he places a ribbon around the tree where her car was found and says there's still people to talk to and places to look. The focus on this day was a property where a trailer once stood. What they're finding right now is also an anomaly in the dirt underneath the trailer. Right now we're seeing about five feet and we're not sure how wide yet. Investigative journalist Maggie Frailing says soil tests will have to be done. Frailing is somewhat responsible for making this high-tech search happen. She recently hosted a documentary featuring Maura Murray's case and garnered a lot of followers. It would just feel wrong to have worked with the family, gotten to know them, and just been like, hey, I'm done, see you later. It just, I couldn't. She decided to start a GoFundMe page. She works with friends who run the Missing Maura Murray podcast, and recently they teamed up with GB Geotechnics out of New York City. It's obviously a case that's affected so many people and continues to affect so many people for, for so many years. Um, you know, we thought it would be the right thing to do. They are working for free. It's a gesture that Fred Murray is overwhelmed by as he continues this emotional journey to find his daughter. Go out of a way for you and then help you out. Oh, man. And she's gone. And I can't get her back. I gotta find her. I gotta, I gotta bring her home, bury her. Now, Maggie and this crew say that this will not be their last visit to the area. In fact, she says she's already found a spot that she wants to look at next. Reporting in Woodsville, Heather Hamill, WMUR News 9.